As far as women go, we know that women are different in that they get pregnant as opposed to men. So pregnancy is clearly a contributing factor to varicose veins. When a woman is pregnant, she has what we call a high volume state or a lot of fluid and a lot of pressure being exerted on the abdominal veins, pelvic veins, and leg veins. So women can also get pelvic vein congestion. They can get varicose veins around the labia or the vagina and down the legs, down the thighs, and in the calf. What's interesting is once a woman delivers, a lot of these varicose veins that are present during pregnancy will resolve or almost resolve. So the pregnancy in and of itself can cause venous disease, and that's why venous disease is probably more common in women. Although a lot of this is just flat out genetics. So if you have the, the genes through your family heritage, uh, you're probably going to develop varicose veins. If you don't have the uh, genetic predisposition, you're probably not going to develop. Now, the other thing with women during pregnancy is, is a lot of hormones uh, being present during a pregnancy. And we know that veins respond to hormones. So just the hormonal state of a woman during pregnancy can affect the veins.